I have this bamboo spoon and bamboo turner. I got them both from Dollar General for a dollar each. And I'm going to start by painting it using some General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain. This is a really nice stain to work with. Very easy to use. Once you apply it, you then just take a piece of paper towel and you can remove the excess gel stain. And as you rub it in, the wood grain will start to show. And I did this to both of my pieces. I had this mesh stencil. It's a reusable. I got this off of Amazon and I'm going to place it on just the handles of both of the spoon and the turner. You do want to wait until the gel stain is fully dry. Once dry, I applied the stencil and then I took my silicone spread pal. It's just a silicone spread applicator and I'm using the white ceramic paint and I'm just applying it over the mesh stencil. You do not want to apply too much or it can seep under. I removed the stencil and then you want to wash it right away or at least wipe it down with some baby wipes. I got this DIY letter board from the Dollar Tree. It came with these little cardboard letters so that you could change out the message of your choice. And I spell out on each line, made with love. And I'm just using the cardboard that they gave, but you can also use your own wood letters or your own wood tiles. I then took my utensils once they were fully dry, and I'm going to glue them so that they're crossing the handles over each other. I'm then going to take a piece of burlap and I'm going to tie a little knot around the two handles to hold this in place. You can make a bow if you'd like and I'm using my pinking shears to just cut the ends for a nicer finish. I have this burlap flower that you can find from the Dollar Tree and I glued that right in the center. I then went back to the letter board and I'm going to apply the wood utensils to the corner almost on a little angle. And I'm just going to leave it simple just like this. You can add a bow to the hanger if you'd like and I really thought this came out cute. I'm going to take some flat half beads. I get these off Amazon and just to kind of add a little character to the board. I glued them in front and at the end of each word. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out other tutorials over on our website. Have a great day.